So I'm making a film about being ginger. Oh. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Um, and I'm trying to find out the different stereotypes that people have okay. for ginger men versus ginger women. Okay. I don't want to be insulting. I think often men with red hair are uglier than women with red hair. <laughs> what do you think the stereotypes are of red-headed men? The red-headed men? Fat. I was going to say they always seem quite huffy. Huffy? What's huffy mean? <laughs> like, um, huffy, like moody, a bit broody. A bit pensive, I don't know. I say this because I saw one yesterday in the library and he was really good looking, but the whole time he was like, so quite intense. Not the greatest to deal with women sometimes. Yeah, I guess yeah. so. <laughs> kind of awkward. A bit nerdy maybe. Unless you're Prince Harry. Unless you're Prince Harry. <laughs> no, he is good looking though. He but is he's Harry also is a good prince. Looking. If he wasn't a prince, would you still think he was good looking? If he was just Maybe a bloke not. walking? Yeah, around. that's true. Maybe. <laughs> Strangely good looking. Mm. On TV and in, in movies, I guess. Are there any redheaded? Yeah, Ron Weasley. <laughs> Harry Potter. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. But he's a good guy. Yeah, but but yeah, he's, he's, he's also a stereotype. He's a loser. He's, he's no good at magic. He's no good with girls. He's yeah, but that's quite attractive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's attractive to be... Um, I think sometimes that is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it's really different from girls with their hair, because girls with their hair are, like, sassy. What stereotypes do you have in your, in your mind when you think of a redheaded woman? Pretty hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What'd you say? I do it. <laughs> you do it. <laughs> redheaded women are more fiery and uh, temper, tempered, I think. What do you think of when you think of a redheaded woman? Deep. <laughs> <laughs> they are hot. Fiery. Fiery. There's the orange gingers, and then there's the red fiery gingers. And the red fiery ones are much hotter. It's mostly they're quite attractive. Okay. Like, In the bedroom, they're very much more rare. Uh, experimental and frisky and a little bit more uh, naughty and dangerous. What do you think the stereotype is for red-headed women? I think guys love them. Do you think mm. girls love red-headed men? I, I quite like red-headed men, mainly because of the boy in the library. He's made quite a lasting impression. Okay. But they're not as goofy as the red-headed men. Okay, no, so the, the red-headed women can, can be kind of yeah, really sexy. Sexy and yeah. tim hot tim. Yeah. Red-headed men aren't sexy though. No, they're quite the opposite. <laughs> Do you think that guys come up to you and treat you differently because of your hair? Yeah. I didn't. I never thought that boys would like it, but apparently boys love ginger girls. It's great. <laughs> would you like ginger hair like because she's your friend? No, and I want to be ginger. You yeah, want same. to be ginger? Yeah. I've always like, liked, liked her, like, to wanted ginger. her hair color. <laughs> so I've never heard a guy say they wanted to be ginger. It's only girls who no, say No, I've well. never heard no. a guy say they want to be ginger. No. Okay. Good luck with your That's study. That's it. Yeah. yeah, you can... You, you find out more about what I'm doing there. It'll amuse you, trust me. Being ginger, it's not a disease. It's just Thank a title. You. It's just a title. Thanks, good luck. Cheers.